Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to day 20 of learning to program in Ruby. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, today we're going to be going over kind of what we went over yesterday. We're just going to be we're going to be creating a method in order to use what we had learned yesterday in order to make everything a lot faster for us. So if you haven't watched yesterday's episode, make sure to go back and watch that. Otherwise, this can be a little bit confusing. It just depends. If you know what the combined comparison operator or spaceship operator does, then you should be fine. You'll know enough. So the first thing we're going to do is define our method. So go ahead and write def. And we're going to name this sorted list. And that's going to take two arguments. And the first one, we're just going to name it array. And the second one, we're going to just name it reverse. And we're going to set the reverse to false. And that way, it'll just default to false. And so this method is going to be an if statement. So we're going to write if. And the condition we're going to create is if our reverse right up here is equal to false, we will have this sort the array normal. So we'll write array.sort. And again, the name array is not referring to, I mean, we could name this potato chips or potato right here and it wouldn't matter. So we're gonna do array.sort. And then what we're gonna do is what we talked about yesterday. We're gonna do our pipes, A comma B. So that sets each item within our array. Um, comp it'll compare each one to the other. We're gonna do that equal, and then our spaceship operator, B. And then below that, we're gonna do the else. We're gonna write array.sort, just like we did above. And we will do our pipes, our A comma B. But outside of that, we're gonna switch. We're gonna have the B go first, and then we're going to do our combined comparison operator equal it's just a mouthful and put the a last then go ahead and go below that and we want to end this now and then we want to end this so now what we want to do is create our array and what we're going to do is we're going to make it disney movies Go ahead and do your brackets. And what we will do for the first one is Lion King. Outside of that, we're gonna do Little Mermaid. And outside of that, let's do Lady and the Tramp. It's gonna be amazing if I get like a content ID just, just for stating the names of these Disney movies. Oh, it's getting ridiculous. Um, the video I posted yesterday got a content ID claim because it had the names of novels in it. I just thought that was really funny and interesting. But uh, obviously, I countered it and said, don't be insane. So that's fine. But pushing forward with that, not to worry. Lady and the Tramp, and then the next one, let's do Finding Nemo. Love me some Finding Nemo. And let's do another one. What am I missing, guys? I mean, there's like a hundred, right? And I can't spell Pinocchio, I'm not even gonna try. Um, Toy Story. Yes, but that's Pixar. Come on, don't give Disney the credit for that. They weren't even around then. All right, and Tangled, okay. Tangled, guaranteed, spelled wrong. All right, let's come out of that. And then what we are going to do is we want to puts this out and then use our method. So we're gonna do puts. And what we will do is let's do reverse order. So let's do string in reverse order. This doesn't really matter in reverse order what you type here. And we're going to do a colon. And then we're going to call our method. So make sure to do our hash and our curly braces. And we're going to type sorted list. Then we're going to make our arguments. And that's what's in the parentheses here. And the first thing we're going to put in is our array. And so the array we're going to target is Disney movies. So go ahead and type in Disney underscore movies. 
And then we are going to type in true here. And what that will do is if reverse equals false, it's going to sort it the regular way. Now it's already set to false up here. So if we were to actually leave this blank here, like if we just came down here and all we did was type in Disney movies, it's gonna sort the list in regular order no matter what, because it's just gonna sort how the Ruby, how Ruby already has it set up. So if we hit save and we do Disney movies, dot rb then open our command prompt with ruby we pull in disney movies now it says undefined method underscore disney movies let's go back in see where we made a mistake disney movies disney underscore movies we don't have the equals symbol right there save that now pull that back in hit up and now it's showing finding nemo lady in the tramp lion king little mermaid and then tangled and Toy Story. So it sorts it in alphabetical order. So if we come back in here and we wanted this to put this in reverse, what we do is we do puts. Uh, now it's in reverse order. So we need to do in proper, in proper order. And then down here, what we want to do is in backwards sort, whatever you want again in backwards sort make sure that it is in your quotations or sorry yes your quotations and then we are going to do our hashtag curly braces you can see this now a lot better because i've actually increased the size of the font from the prior videos i've also bolted the font i was i was watching one of the videos back and i just realized you know this is probably really hard to see on some smaller devices if someone's watching it like on their iphone and then working on the computer or whatever or on the ipad even so i thought why don't i bolden this font and make it a little bit bigger so sorry it's not on the first 18 or 19 episodes but it'll be here from now on okay let's target our um target our our, our method here sorted list and then call in our arguments and our argument will be Disney movie, Disney movies, and then comma, we're gonna set it equal to true. And then we will hit save. Get rid of all these spaces here. We hit save. That over. Come back in here, up to pull it back in, hit enter. And now it says in proper order, Finding Nemo, Lady and the Tramp, Lion King, Little Mermaid. And then in backwards, sort, it shows Toy Story, Tangled, Little Mermaid, Lion King, Lady and the Tramp. Okay. Don't need to read it all for you. I think you guys get it. Let's spread that out there. Alrighty then. Let's see. Oh, just got another content uh, management ID flag. Quoting... Uh, what is that? Uh, the Jim Carrey, the Jim Carrey movie. What am I, why am I, oh, pet, pet detective, that's right. Okay, def sorted list array. Let's go over this real quick. So um, what we've done is we've basically just called our method sorted list, and then we've taken our two arguments. With, if you come up here, it says array, right? So we can make, again, we can make that anything we want, like potato, like we said before, potato, potato. And then all we'd need to do is um, make this array right here. Just we have to change that to potato. And I know sometimes if we use the grammar, it can be confusing, but then it can also help because then you know like what it is I'm calling. But then it's like, okay, does that actually have any effect? But no. So potato dot sort, potato dot sort. I think potato it can just be like our little inside thing. Um, so if you skip this episode, you will not get future jokes. Potato, reverse, potato, dot sort, potato, dot sort. Because what potato is doing is it's taking this first argument and we are putting in our first argument down here as Disney movie. And because Disney movie is an array right here, it is sorting that array and it's applying this to it. See, yes. So we save that. Come back in. It, I'll pull it in and it still works in proper order and then in backwards sort perfect 
All right, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or any comments or anything else to help anyone out. That'd be great. My name is Jacob Williams. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow on day 21 of learning to program in Ruby.